Also happening today, St. Pete's very last Safe Summer Friday. It's happening before kids head back to school next week. Yeah, it's a, something that we first told you about when city leaders announced this new diversion program at the beginning of the summer, and it's already been 10 weeks yeah. since then. 10 Tampa Bay's reporter Andrea Lyon joins us live in downtown St. Pete with more on the impact of this program and how the city plans to keep some of these teens out of trouble once school begins. Yeah, that summer went by quick, didn't it? Uh, city leaders say the new program, it seems to have worked and that right now they're really trying to put those into numbers to quantify that. But uh, having a late night option, keeping kids busy and off the street really is the goal after dark. It really drew in more than 100 families uh, every other week when they would have this, all of them at risk teens. But Safe Summer Fridays, it was really simple. Uh, have things for kids to do when they would usually get into some sort of trouble uh, and the Office of Equity says it's just one way of many. They're trying to keep kids off the street out of crime and away from gun violence like earlier this year when this St. Pete 11 year old was shot and killed by his own 14 year old brother who got his hands on a stolen gun. Safe Summers is in conjunction with specific neighborhoods in St. Pete and with law enforcement. The many types of crime go up during the summer. Uh, the department will monitor those things, but as long as there's an option for you, you, more, you are less likely to get in trouble and do something wrong. So yes, so far our youth are responding very positive. Glad we could have this option. Now, starting Monday, St. Pete's effort to end youth crime continues with an after school program for 12 to 17 year olds. Parents can sign up at the Enoch Davis Center and another new program they're also working on is called Forward Together Campaign, really focusing on those teens and aiming uh, to help use mental health as well as services they may need. Sarah. Yeah, thank you, Andrea. So question, do you know if this has actually helped cut down on crimes committed by the teens? Well, it's something that the city of St. Pete and PD are working on. They say that after this program is officially over, they're going to compare numbers, a report uh, we are expecting by September. Live in St. Pete, Andrea Lyon, 10 Tampa Bay.